really, I like them all. <laughs> David Baker of Ames grew up on a farm in Hardin County. I grew up with John Deere and Oliver. And uh, like working around, I drove a lot of internationals. And uh, I'm not that prejudiced. He actually wanted to be a farmer. I thought of it a lot, yes. Hmm. But uh, things just didn't work out. Baker collected not only tractors, but also many types of farm implements. We'd go to an auction or something, there was toys on and watch them sell. If you thought there was a good buy, you bought them. His fascination with farm toys kept growing, even as he went on to be a lineman for Alliant Energy for 33 years. David Baker never forgot the seasons of the farm. I'd have toys sitting out down here for the season. If it was planting season or harvesting season or haying season, I had those toys out so I could see them. Over the years, he's welcomed many visitors to his basement toy wonderland, but now he's decided it's time to give up his collection. The main reason I'm getting doing this is because of my eyes and I can't take care of them. Every winter, I would come down here and and take a soft cloth and wipe all the dust off of every toy. So I didn't do it this year. That's the first year I haven't done it. He has just a handful of toys he will keep, and some like this handmade tractor he would love to keep. A cult of bee. Baker will be at the auction on Saturday, a bittersweet day for him. I'm 78, and if I've still got toys from 1943, or I know I have loved toys. In Ames, Roger Riley, Channel 13 News.